Good morning, Ferris Point Middle School. Today is Friday, December 16th, and it's the 8 day. My name is Noah. My name is Hope. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seated. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Jada W, Ashley C, Trevor L, and over the weekend to Gianna J, Kobe W, Gage C, Brittany E, Cody P, and Christian K. The weather today is 29 degrees and mostly cloudy. Now a message from Ms. Ryan. Good morning, Sparrows Point. I am here to let you all know that uh, the boys and girls basketball teams played yesterday against Dundalk Middle School. We had a nice turnout from parents, but we did miss the students, and we hope to see you on Tuesday. Yesterday, the Spares Point Middle School boys team, they played well for their first game of the season. However, they lost their fight 32-20. to 20. Scoring for the pointers were high scorer Gavin Taylorson with five points. Also scoring were Kayla Morton, Anthony Vetri, Kai Davis, Jordan Wilkins, and Seth Diavonzo. The Lady Pointers came out strong on their first competition of the season with a win, beating Dundalk 15 to 20. I'm oh, sorry, 15 to 12. <laughs> My apologies. With a win, 15 to 12. Don Shea Jones was the team's high scorer with six points. Also scoring for the Lady Pointers, Bailey Arnett, Madison Johnson, and Harley Wozniak. I also have to do a huge shout out to our basketball managers, Skyler, Rachel, Jenna and Alexis. Even though I see a few mistakes in the book right now that we're going to have a chat about, uh, they, the four of them have been awesome uh, doing all the behind the scenes work and I couldn't do, uh, be, this, this group, Mr. Reedus and I could not have been as successful uh, without their help, so I thank them. And like I said on Tuesday, Tuesday we will be playing again. We are in the high school gym. Students are welcome, so we encourage you all to come out and cheer on your teams. Admission is $2 for students. We will also have concessions on Tuesday, so mark your calendars. And this message is for my yearbook group, my yearbook. I've talked to a few of you. I will be in Ms. Russell's room after school today for yearbook club. So if you need to stay after work on your pages, I'll see you after school. Thank you and have a great Friday. Today's lunch, pizza, cheese, and pepperoni, cheesesteak, stuffed chicken patty sandwich, regular spicy, fish filet with cheese, sam cheese sandwich, seasoned potato wedges, sweet baked beans, yummy baby carrots, assorted canned fruit. December 21st is Ugly Holiday Sweater Day. Wear your tackiest. This is the last week we will be collecting for our mint tree. Please bring gloves, mittens, hats, and scarves in this week and place them on the mint tree in the office. All donations will be delivered to a community shelter on Monday. Would you like to earn service learning hours? Are you creative or organized? Are you free on Friday afternoons? And you should join the Lit Club. Friday afternoons in the library until 3.20. And now a message from Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, Spurs Foot Middle School. A couple quick announcements. First, Quiz Bowl team, you are excused from your classes at 9.15. Meet me in the high school lobby. Not the middle school cafeteria lobby, the high school lobby. Those students are and teachers listening because I didn't give them passes. Braden Buckaloo, Dominic Parks, Mason Cherpella, Noah Gardner, Caitlin Keener, Kate Welch, Haley Dorita, Hunter Clark, Bell Bishop, and Richard Davis. 915, meet me over there. Second, it's 18 degrees today. And I was driving to school, freezing in my warm car. I thought to myself, there's someone's gonna come to school in shorts. And sure enough, I saw someone in shorts this morning and I thought to myself, what is your problem? Like, what is wrong with you? Do you love the cold? Are you an Eskimo? I don't know. So I just want to remind everyone that when it's cold, please dress appropriately. It hurts my eyes to see you freeze and I don't want my eyes to hurt anymore. So please wear a jacket, gloves, a hat, take care of your body. And a lot of you get yourself up in the morning and get yourself to school. Okay, my mother woke me up every day for 12 years. So I always had her tell me what to put on in the morning if it was cold. Some of you don't have that because you're 10 times more responsible in middle school than I was when I was 18. So please wear appropriate clothes.
clothing. And last but not least, the math clash. It's coming. It'll be here before we know it. It's a big deal in this middle school. The sixth grade currently, <coughs> excuse me, I almost threw up my mouth when I said the sixth grade, is winning right now. Their attendance is better than the eighth grade, so when it starts tomorrow, or next Friday, next Thursday, they're going to have a 15-point lead before any of the competitions. So eighth grade, if you want to start with the lead, you have to come to school every single day next week. It really angers me when the eighth grade doesn't win and a start the math clash on Thursday, losing before we even begin is going to be a tough pill to swallow. So please come to school every day next week. Thank you and have a great weekend. Book Club is next Wednesday the 21st. We are doing a white elephant gift exchange. If you don't know what that means, see Ms. Farrell or Ms. Wedborn. And now for the word of the week. The word of the week was facade and means either the front of a building or the front of a person puts up so no one can know the real them. Today is your last chance to find Principal Washington or Miss Bonning during a change of classes. Use the word in a sentence and get a prize. Don't worry about the thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Bob Marley. Now for a video. Thanks for watching. I'm Noah. And I'm Hope. Remember today to have pride all that you do. Now for a free read Friday.